We got Matt here from HD Concrete, volumetric trucks, drum mixer trucks. Yeah, so this is Gurjeet, he's the operator for truck two, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I heard you through the mask, it's okay. Yeah, so come take a look at our uh, volumetric mixer. So this is truck two, we have four of them. This is a um, pro-wall volumetric mixer. This one runs off the commander system. It's actually really, really easy. I can walk you through it super quick. So they're kind of worn off because we use them a lot. But this is the belt discharge, which causes the belt to discharge the sand and aggregates, and also the cement to get augered out. And this is the auger itself. So just turn the auger on. It'll uh, mix up all the constituents, all the materials inside the auger. And because it has so many blades on the auger, it causes a ton of shear force. It actually mixes it, I think, a little bit better than the barrels do. Oh, really? really cool. And what about the mix design itself? Is that pre-programmed in? Yeah, so all the mix designs are programmed in. Oh, wow. Right, so we have, what do we have? Maybe like 80 mix designs in total now? Oh, yeah, yeah about that much. Yeah, so fiber. it's come a long way from the older ones where the drivers got like levers and like literally hand crank levers well, to adjust the mix, right? It actually does have levers, but the computer will tell you what you need to set the gates at. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So it tells you what to do and you can set the gates. Uh, there's a lock on it. All you have to do is move the gate, unlock it, and lock it back up. And you guys, you can do accelerator, plasticizer, you guys do color with the... Uh, oh yeah. You can do color. Lots of color. You want to see the really? color? Really? Yeah, let's see the color. So, this is truck two. It has heat exchanger on it for hot water. And the water tank uh, is insulated for cold weather concrete. And we come around this side. And how, how hot can you get that water? Oh, well, we can get it hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot. Too hot for our climate. This truck has two uh, cement hoppers. One is for fly ash and one is for cement. You can see where the weld goes up the side of the bin. Yeah. This is a smaller fly ash hopper and this is a cement hopper. It fits about 3,200 kilograms of cement and about 1,500 kilograms of fly ash. So how much concrete could you batch from this truck? Uh, we normally get out about nine or 10 meters. Cubic meters, okay. Yeah, depending on where we're going to in the mix design. We don't want to send it on a bridge if it's going to be uh, 10 meters because it'll be over. Right, right. So we reduce the size depending on the distance and where we're going. And as far as going up and down hills, steep driveways, you have to worry about any kind of spilling? Nothing. Nothing. No, it, it's, it has a tarp on it, right? Auto tarp. Yeah. So nothing falls. So in. not like a regular mixer when you're working in the mountains like we are here. No. No, no worries about spilling whatsoever. And this is what's called the color feeder or the third SCM bin. So we can put color into here, and for every single one of our um, ingredients, we actually calibrate it by taking five tests, right? So for every color we use, whether it's red, black, or uh, I guess brown, we would put that in there, we take five samples, it counts how many, um, how many turns the belt takes, and then it'll tell us to a very reliable degree of certainty how much color we're putting in. But and that's, that's powdered color, obviously, powdered correct? Powdered color. Yeah. But it's pretty cool because we can put silica fume in here. We can put uh, Bandex or Kim Mix. So we can make waterproof concrete. We can uh, make shotcrete. We can make a shotcrete carving mix. Any kind of concrete possible. So you can do anything a ready mix truck can and more, basically. Almost. Basically. Almost. 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 When it comes to like 90 to 100 MPA mix designs, you need to modify your trucks to put latex okay. in them and other things. Uh, but up to 60 MPA, no problem. So what we're doing here today, I overheard earlier, which is really cool. So we're doing close to 300 cubic meters here in total, and you're gonna keep the volumetric as the balance. Yeah. Because there's no commitment to use all the material on the truck, because it's not mixed up until it goes in the hopper. So we use exactly what we need, and theoretically we have zero waste. Absolutely, zero waste, that's the goal. So I never, that's something I never thought of before, but that is a huge, huge advantage. I like that, I like it a lot. And how fast can this discharge concrete? How fast can it feed the pump? What do you think? You get probably like, uh, you can discharge a full load in 15 to 18 minutes? Oh yeah, so about that. Exactly 15 minutes. Yeah, so about 10 meters every 15 minutes. Really? So you yeah. can do 40 an hour? 40 an hour, yep. 
about ha half the speed of a barrel truck, but maybe a little less. If you add two of these to the pump, you could do 60, 70, 80 an hour, theoretically. Yeah, we've done, uh, with the four trucks, we've done about 600 meters in a day uh, batching from our loading uh, station on site. With just four volumetrics? Four volumetrics. Wow. It was a long day. It was like 11, 12 hours of actual work. Very, very cool. Yeah, I mean, we've we've seen these for for years, but not the new ones. We've always had the older ones in our market, Previ previous to the last, well, really before you guys kind of brought it in. It may, may be like one or two other local outfits, maybe one, I don't know. But you guys kind of spearheaded the whole push to it, towards volumetric, so. Yeah, there's some good guys out there, um, mostly in the States. Uh, in Vancouver, there's five other companies that run volumetrics. But I think we kind of found our niche uh, doing like specialty mixes. Yeah, when we had the supply shortage there about a year and a half ago, it kind of left a, uh, it created an opening, shall we say. Oh, absolutely. Right? Oh man, we were getting calls. We, we had more work than we can do. We did not expect it to happen. Yeah, especially for like residential stuff and whatnot, where you got to kind of keep the truck around for a while or you're working in uh, remote, obscure locations. I could definitely see the advantage of having uh, concrete mixed on demand don't have to worry about it getting hot good timing for, out any of that yeah. stuff right good for a barge yeah. crazy for a barge we used to do ready mix on the barge all the time and we'd have to put like four hour retardant in it oh yeah and most of the time it worked but the times they didn't oh man those were scary scary days so yeah middle of august 35 degrees out and the mud's been bashed like five hours ago so and we actually um we did a gondola station like the one we're doing here but we already completed it at the top of the mountain and we poured about 2,000 meters with our volumetrics, batching them on site at the top. So I, I saw that on uh, on Dan's Instagram. He, yeah. wanted, he wanted me to go do it, but I was too much of a wussy. Oh, I, I got too scared it. to drive up there. Uh, it's a tricky road. I'll, I'll put a link to the video somewhere in the corner up here. Uh, Dan took the GoPro on the drive up there just to kind of scout out the road. Up. Yeah. I think I could have done it after the fact, but uh, it's a better job for you, I think. Yeah, actually, um, the best mix for volumetrics I find is shotcrete. With shotcrete, because now I have drum trucks and volumetrics, it builds up in the drums so quickly. Oh yeah. And shotcrete loads can't last your typical um, three hours, right? Yeah. You can only get them 90 minutes normally, otherwise they time out. Yeah. With this, because shotcrete crews take so long to produce, uh, or to shoot the concrete, we just produce what they need when they need it, and they could have this here for four or five hours with doing blinding or rock carving, and it's really easy for us to to have a, a day that either ends early or that extends. The amount of times I've done carving or even pools, and the guys get kind of close towards the end and they want to stop for an hour, and with a ready mix truck, you're like, well, no, you really kind of can't do that. I, I guess something like this sort of gives you that it definitely opens up your options so Absolutely. wow so we learned a lot today i learned a lot did you learn a lot no no <laughs> you already do it all yeah this <laughs> this wise veteran he already knows everything i know i was running part-time during the shortage i was running one of the old ones yeah that's right you computer. were yeah did some jobs for you guys yeah yeah dan actually supplied a couple he, he made a he made a decent mix and pumped all right, but you know. And yeah, there's a learning cool. curve though, man. And how often do you have to replace the auger? That must be a high wear item, or, or is it all chrome carbide? You name it. Six months. Yeah, every six months. Six months. Uh, probably every three thousand meters, something like that. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. not too bad. Whatever comes first. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Matt from HD. Gurjeet from HD. Now, where's that remote? We still need to show the remote. We came here to show the remote. Yeah. We ended up seeing volumetric mixers, which is actually way cooler, but uh, what do you think of them? They definitely have their place. Like, yeah. I, like right now, it's super handy because we're going to be waiting for trucks. Yeah. So this guy, he'll just sit here while we're waiting for the trucks so we can pump Fresh mud meter. on demand, especially in the summertime. And it's got fresh, fresh concrete in the boom. We can sit for another 20 minutes. Imagine minute the summer when it's like 40 degrees out. There's def definitely advantages for sure. And I think if you got a good a good driver on it and a good guy operating yep. it, right? No, I'm definitely I'm intrigued. They are really catching on in our area. So I'm sure we'll be working with these uh, these types of trucks and these guys probably lots more in the future. <laughs>